Hello everyone. This is a different view than you normally see coming in. I went to an estate sale today and I picked up all of these records. Now I've seen other um, people painting records on oh Pinterest and I went looking for one to see about how you'd go about it if I have to prime it or what I have to do. But I got these and a lady was nice enough to sell them to me for 50 cents each, which I thought was an excellent price. And this one is Crystal Gale. But look at the nice center. So I thought that I would paint this and use similar colors and go around the outside and that. But all of these, I opened them all up and looked at all the different centers to look for some that have some interesting designs like this. And some of them are just red or just yellow or green or whatever. But that's okay. I'm going to experiment a little bit on this. And I thought this would be another thing, you know, for people that are just learning. I'll get my finger in camera, sorry. To practice on. If you can get these for cheap like I did. And that, I mean, 50 cents. I spent $20, I get 40 records. So that's a lot of painting. And that. And some I think I'm going to leave with the designs in the center. Like, if I like the artist's name and I like, or I just like the design. And others, I think I might try and take that up or paint over the top. So, let's experiment and see how this goes. Now, I know I probably could use multi-surface on it, but I'm going to try and use just regular acrylic. And I will probably clean them off with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure the record is clean before I start applying anything to it. And we will go from there. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I decided to go with this. This is a Connie Francis album. I don't know if you guys know who Connie Francis is. But it was one of the more not colorful designs in the center. And I picked it because it's my first trial um, painting on one of these. So we'll see how this goes on one that I'm not going to be as devastated to lose. So I'm using rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to wipe over this to make sure that it's clean. So hopefully the paint will stick to it better. And I'm not going to worry about that very center part because I'm not going to touch it. The cool part about painting on one of these is if you don't coat it, I can see the lines going around. So that's actually going to help me keep things um, even when I'm going around here. You probably can't see it so well, but I can see it. Let's see how I'm going to get to where you guys can see this halfway decent. Okay, so I'm going to start out... And I'm going to watch the lines of this as I go. I'm going to start out with this Indian turquoise color. And I'm going to do a fairly big dot. Let's go all the way up to a number 20. And I'm going to first dot on the lines I just made. Now, you can't see it, but I can see the design on the record and I'm just keeping it out of that center circle.
I'm going to do more dots with that, but I'm going to set it to the side for just a minute. And I'm going to take a smaller one and swirl the paint out a bit on these. Now, you might have to use multi-surface paint on this. I am not sure. This is the first time I've painted. And I went looking to see if I could find a tutorial by somebody else on YouTube on how exactly they went about it. And nobody really says. At least I couldn't find one. So I'm just going to use regular acrylic paints and see how this goes. If it peels off, we know we need to use multi-surface. So I'm going to still stay with that number 20, and I'm going to make a couple more dots, one in between each of these. And I'm watching. There's a line that goes there. So I'm just going to eyeball and try and get into the center of each one of these. Now I'm going to come in with um, this darker color. This is Salem Blue. It's just a little bit darker. And I'm still going to use that number 20. I'm going to make another dot in between each one of those. I'm going to come in with the number 3. And I'm going to walk some dots. And I think I'm going to use white. This is warm white. I did grab a gray color, but I think I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go around the lighter blue ones. You can't see that, but it'll be every other one. Now I'm going to come in with the number four. And I'm going to walk some more dots. This time I'm going to take the darker blue color. And I'm going to walk some dots to start. Maybe three dots on either side. The middle one and then three dots. And then I'm going to come in and finish them with the number three. But first I'm going to go around all these. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the number three, and I'm going to walk them just to where the other one stopped. I think I'm going to go with the number four again, and I'm going to do another row of white around them. So I'm going to do three, the middle dot and three dots and then I'll come back with the number three and go smaller around it. Okay, now I'm gonna go down to the number three and finish them. Now, I think I'm gonna come in with the silver color. This is gray sky. And I got the silver because I kinda wanted to match the label. Now I'm going to go with the number four and put a dot on top of each one of these other blues. Now I'm going to go with the number three and I'm going to walk the dots down like I did the other ones. I think I'm going to add this brighter blue in here, even though it kind of doesn't match. Ocean blue. And I want more of a contrast going. So I'm going to go with the number four on these. And do my middle dot. And then a few on either side. Three like I did before. Now I'm going to go with the number three and finish marking them down. I'm going to come in with the number 22 in that silver color. 
And I'm going to put a dot in between these. I'm going to go every other one for right now. I might come back and do the others. Okay, and then I'm going to, I guess I'm going to do gray for all of them in between. I was going to do a different color, but I'm going to stick to gray for now. And that's with the number 22 still. Um, let's go with a number 11. And I'm going to come in with an even lighter color blue. This is called per, um, Blue Chiffon. And I'm going to put a dot in between each one. And the dark blue, where it has the dark blue walk around. And then I'm going to come in with the number 7. And I'm going to use that bright blue that's on the opposite side there. And I'm going to do a dot right out on top of the ones we just did. Okay, then I'm going to go down to the number, oh, where's my number 4? Number four, and I'm going to do two dots to the side, one on each side of those that we just did. Now I'm going to do, I kind of want to do like a triangular pattern out from these gray dots. So I think I'm going to go to the number 14 and I'm going to make a dot right out from where we did and then I'm going to connect those in a minute. Now, I'm going to go back to the number 4 and I'm going to connect those with the gray and it's about three dots. If you have to use less or more, use less or more. Now, I'm going to do another blue dot, the bright blue again, ocean blue. And I'm going to go with the number 20, and I'm going to do a dot right on top of these. Now, I'm going to walk some dots around these that I just did. And I'm going to top dot with the number four, and then I'm going to walk dots, I think, with the number three. I'm going to come in with white. I'm just going to do the top dot with the number four. Okay, now I'm going to walk the dots around those with the number three. Okay, now I'm going to come back in with the number four. I'm going to walk a few more dots around here. And I think I'm going to go with that lightest color blue next, which is the blue chiffon. And I'm going to do a number four dot for the middle. And then probably walk three on either side before going down. Okay, now I'm going to go to the number three and finish walking them. So now I want to come out a little bit from the center in these areas and fill this in just a little bit. So let's go, I'm going to go to the white and I'm going to come in with the number seven 
And I'm just going to do a dot off of these to begin with on both sides. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the number five. And I'm going to put another dot going down from these angling towards those gray ones. And then I think I'm also going to come in, let's go to the number four, and I'm going to bring, uh, I'm going to put white dots right at the base of this too. Okay, now we're going to go on to these. I'm going to go, I think, with a smaller dot, not a super huge one, the number 10, and this ocean blue color. And I'm going to do a dot right on top of these coming out. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller dot on top of that. Let's go to the number five and just do another dot right out from what we just did in the same color. Now I'm going to use um, white, I believe. Let's go with a number 20 in white. I'm going to do a dot right off of what we just did. number five and this bright blue and I'm gonna do three more dots on either side coming around the white dot we just did okay and then I'm going to use the number five still and I'm gonna come out just a ways away and make a dot above each one of those because I want to make it come more to a point. Now I'm going to go down to the number three and make dots in the same color. And I'm starting at the peak and going the other direction. So they're getting smaller. Now, I'm going to come off of these um, these blue bases here. And I'm going to come in with this Indian turquoise again. And with the number four, I'm going to put it down on both sides at the bases of these. The ones that are that come to a point at the base. Okay, and now I want to go and do a circle round. And I can sort of see the lines on the LP. And I think I'm going to base off of one of them. So I'm going to go with, oh, this number eight. And I'm going to use the Indian turquoise that I just used and I'm going to make a row of dots and I'm going to follow this line it's about an inch in from the edge okay okay so now I don't know if I have an even amount of dots or an odd amount of dots. So what I always do, kind of check it out, is I'm going to go 
with a number three and I'm going to put a dot in between these and I'm going to do every other one and see if it comes out even. And if it doesn't come out even, I can go back in and put a dot in the opposite one. But if it does, then I know I can do every other one. And that's what I was afraid of. We came out uneven. So I'm not going to be able to skip every other one like I wanted to in the next row. So I'm going to go back in and finish dotting these so that it looks even. Now we have a white dot going around all the way around. And we know that it's not even. Okay, let's work on filling this inner side in just a little bit more. I'm going to come in with the number six and I'm going to use Indian turquoise and I'm going to put it down above these. Okay, and then I'm going to do another dot coming around. This is still with the number six, one dot on either side at the base. I'm going to walk dots around this, but I'm going to keep them fairly larger and do them one at a time, I think. So number six is circling kind of around. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the number five and do the same thing. I think I'm going to use the number five still and I'm going to go from the top and just dot down to the other. Now I'm going to come in with the number Eight. and I'm going to go at these bases and I'm going to use that Indian turquoise with the number eight and I'm going to put another dot on both sides of that darker blue dot there And then I'm going to come in with a fairly decent sized white dot. Let's go to the number 14. And I'm going to do a dot off of these. So it's going to be just off to the side of each one of those. Now I'm going to go. Oh, with the number six, and I'm going to do some more white dots. Another one on top on either side. I may do one more. I want it rather small. Let's go to the number six. And do just one more going in towards the top. But I'm going to do more on this border just to fill it in. I'm going to go with this lighter color. And I think I'm going to make this video a two-parter because top dotting is going to be a big long video as well. So I'm going with that blue chiffon color and I'm going to go to the number seven and do a dot in between these all the way around. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to do one last row in the ocean blue, that bright blue color. And I'm not going to line it up with the other dots. I'm just going to do, I'm going to go around the edge and fill it in. So I'm going to use the number 14. And I'm just going to evenly space them around it. And I'm not going to worry about lining it up with the others. Alright, so that's it for today. I'll come back in tomorrow and that's when it'll come to life when we do the top dotting. Let me get the album turned around to face the right way. So this is where we're at right now. Oh, I'm liking it. I can't wait to see it with the top dots. So I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll finish up. Talk to you later. Bye.